Everything in nature is interconnected, and ideally, there should be an equilibrium between living organisms, called an ecological balance. If one element of this natural balance is disturbed, then all elements in the ecosystem are disrupted. When a compound called DDT was first administered as a pesticide in the 1950s, its long-term environmental effects were not understood and only around three decades later was the pesticide banned in Australia. With a half-life of around 15 years, DDT remains very persistent in the environment. With the presence of this pesticide in soils and pastures, DDT was consumed by the cattle. As DDT is highly fat soluble, the compound accumulated in the cattle's fatty tissues. As the cattle consumed more and more of the DDT contaminated pastures, the concentration of the pollutant in the cattle increased over time. This accumulative process in the cattle is known as bioaccumulation. Scientific research concluded that cattle which consumed pastures with residues of DDT produced milk that contained similar levels of the same pesticide. This demonstrates that the effects of DDT can be felt generations after its administration. DDT doesn't just affect livestock, however. Its ability to travel long distances in the atmosphere and through sediment runoff from farmland allows it to reach coastal waters, making it available for absorption up the food chain. Let's say there are 0.00025 parts per million of DDT present in coastal water. This means that plankton will ingest DDT along with their other sources of food. Over time, the concentration of DDT the plankton absorb from the water increases to 0.025 ppm in their body. Then, a small fish swims along. When it consumes its fill of plankton, the concentration of DDT it has ingested adds up to 0.5 ppm, which is greater than the concentration of DDT present in the plankton. Next, a larger fish gobbles up the DDT contaminated smaller fish and again, the concentration of DDT in the large fish increases to an even greater 5 ppm. The apex predator in this food chain are peregrine falcons and as these birds consume the contaminated large fish, they accumulate an even larger concentration of DDT, 15 ppm. It is evident that DDT builds up in concentration as the food chain moves from the primary consumers to the quaternary consumers. This build up in concentration of a toxic chemical over multiple links in the food chain is called biomagnification. Due to the consumption of DDT, high concentrations of this toxin prevented normal calcium production in peregrine falcons. This decreased the reproductive output of the falcons as it caused a thinning of their eggshells, meaning they produced less offspring and experienced a decline in their population. To summarize, bioaccumulation can be defined as the increase in concentration of a pollutant from the environment to an organism over time. Biomagnification can be defined as the increase in concentration of a pollutant from one link in a food chain to another.